Hey everyone, Alice here and welcome to an All Signs reading. We're just going to do a weekly energy check-in. We're just going to see what's coming in towards you. Uh, what does the universe want you to know about? Uh, things for you to maybe prepare yourself for or to kind of gain some insight on if it's ongoing. Um, could be future influence as well. It doesn't have to be this week, but something that is maybe coming towards you uh, in the near future. Uh, my intentions are for Ascendant Rising signs, uh, Aries through Pisces, but you can check whatever you feel drawn to. There aren't any rules with that as far as I know. It's whatever you feel drawn to. Um, but I do ask you to keep in mind that these are general collective readings. They're not personal readings, so not everything may resonate with you. Just take what does, leave what doesn't. Can be for somebody else, of course, um, or could also be future influence. So you could always come back and watch if something changes and you're like, oh wait, I think Alice said something about that. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um, either way, uh, timestamps are in the description box below or they're on the video. So I will see you at your reading. All right, Aries, let's see what's coming towards you. I've got kind of like the theme to see what the situation is. Say door to personal, what does it say? Door to personal healing and happiness. Mm. You have a block here. Um, things could be better. I was gonna say way better. Yeah, maybe. Things could be way better, um, but something is blocking it. So let's see. What's coming towards you? That could be a block. Mm. Mm. What's with all the people? You got people coming towards you. This could all, I mean, it could be many people. It's probably many people. Um, so this could be a little confusing because there's a lot of energies here. Um, they could be many people that have all of these energies or they could be individual people or some people maybe have two so just kind of take it as it resonates so i'm just gonna i'm gonna treat them like they're one person but just keep that in mind because okay? because it's just too much for me to keep repeating that this could be many people this could be one person so just keep that in mind um so you have someone here that's coming towards you uh they really want to talk this is a very talky energy so this is definitely communication Yes, very strong communication. This is, I'm almost certain this is somebody who will say something to you. They'll probably say something to you first. Uh, they'll probably initiate uh, the conversation here. Um, they. This is somebody who does not want to talk about their feelings. They're not interested in talking about their feelings. Um, they, they have something that they want to talk about. There could be some topic. Um, could be like news, like something that is being talked about um, in the news or something that's kind of, I don't want to say trending, but, like, but yeah, like it's some, uh, some sort of like going on. I don't feel like this person wants to get personal. They're not going to talk about themselves um, here. They might just want to know what your opinion is on certain things, um, like for example, if something's going on politics or something like that, maybe they want to, they want to pick your brain a little bit and they want to know what you think about something. I get like somebody wants to know your opinion because this person wants to share their opinion with you. They want to be like, hey, you know, this is what I think about this thing. How do you think about that? I kind of want to know what this person's intentions are. What are their intentions towards you? Curious. I'm like, what do they actually want? Oh, what is this? 
Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. I don't like this. It's like they want to make you feel bad. It almost feels like they want to be superior over you. But the thing is, I'm looking at their energy. They're not superior. You know? I mean, yeah, there's one page here. Fine. But I don't see no kings here. Right? I don't see no kings. I don't even see any major arcana. So, like, whoever this is... <sighs> This person just wants to like, I mean, the easiest way to say it is they want to make you feel bad, but it's not exactly that. It just feels more like they want to talk about something here and kind of show their like superiority on the subject. It's a bit of like... <laughs> I'm gonna use the term, but like mansplaining. I'm not saying this is a man, it doesn't have to be, but it kind of feels a little like that. Like, yeah. <sighs> okay. This is a block to your personal healing and happiness. Of course. This isn't this isn't a pleasant encounter. Not I don't I don't feel not for you. That's I don't I wouldn't see why you would think this is a pleasant encounter. But let's see, um, What's your energy like towards this? <clears throat> I don't know why I did all that. It seemed unnecessary, but well, okay. Mm. I feel like you know this person. Um, yeah. Uh, you probably know this person very well, but there's been some disconnect here. Maybe you do know that you guys don't see clearly on certain things here because there's like an incompatibility here, but you still feel connected to this person. Um, I get like, you're a bit doting on this energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you may feel like you need to take care of them in some aspect, or you might feel like you need to be more supportive towards them here. It comes across like an energy of like a parent to a child and like a child is like acting kind of pretentious or something. And it's like, you can't tell them to just shut up. You know, you can't tell them to shut the fuck up because it's like, well, you can't really do that. You kind of want to encourage them to, you know, seek out things and to ask questions and stuff. But it's like, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I, I get that this, but I don't really see you being interested in wanting to communicate for long periods of time with this energy. I, I get like a short, a short period is, is good. Small doses here. Um, I, I don't see you wanting to really do a whole lot with this energy. Um, not really. Why the lovers? Where's this coming from? Just curious. Did this person lie to you or deceive you in some way and that's what's kind of broken the connection here a little bit? It's possible. Here, oh, seven. Ooh, seven sevens. Okay. Mm, they may they may have like made you wait or made or stood you up or something. You know, maybe they promised something or they said they were gonna do something and then they didn't do something here. And it's not like you hate them for it, but it's kinda like mm. <laughs> it's kinda like it, it, it's kind of soured the connection here for the time being. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where is this energy heading in the near future? That's kind of good seeing all you mean aces here um i do feel like there's some sort of fresh start here um which telling me that is that this isn't gonna last forever right um 
seeing aces here seem to be i see somebody i feel like this is you aries because that's your energy the emperor i feel like you're gonna get a better handle of things here um you're gonna start to be able to know how to sort of treat this energy um like i said like this it's like this energy it feels like they want to one-up you in some way here but their energy is not reading as somebody to one-up you know but you are your energy is reading that here but it's like you're gonna be the bigger person in the situation that's where it's heading to you being the bigger person even if it means delaying um you know building upon something here uh i do feel there's more activity going on you might get an idea here of how to deal with this it's like uh, it can be yeah uh, getting some sort of it just feels like a light bulb getting some sort of idea here some motivation here to be the bigger person here um i don't really feel like right now you're going to give this person um what it is that you want to give here like i feel like you want to be more supportive towards this energy i feel like now maybe might not be the time or like in the near future you may feel like that's not the time and but you have a better idea of how to handle this okay all right um that's what i'm gonna leave you here for today so thank you very much uh aries i Hope that you have a wonderful day and we are going to move on. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on here. Um, we'll just kind of get sort of the, the theme, situation, whatever I'm gonna call it. Angel of Balance. Okay, so this is all about finding balance here in a situation. It could be the energy that's coming towards you is to help find that balance. Um, maybe to help things be better um, or calmer. I'm getting more peaceful. It really depends on which way things are going, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, it can go the opposite way. It's like when things are really good, it's like, yeah, there could be something to kind of bring it back down to balance things out. But also if things aren't going really good, um, then something could, you know, to lift it up a bit. Goes both ways. It's the whole thing with balance. All right, what's coming towards you? Coming towards Taurus. Yeah, I told you, balance. Oh, okay. It might be going a little bit the opposite way. Um, mm, I feel like somebody. This is a person, Queen of Swords. Um, what do we have? Uh, Sagittarius, Libra energy. Someone might cut you out of a situation here but it seems to be for your betterment um it is sad and it is disappointing you will be disappointed by this but it's almost like what's that saying rejection is protection yeah i know blah 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 but i it, it's not it's it's stressing the situation like there's a lot of tension here and so in order to get rid of that tension, something or someone has to go for now. It doesn't have to be forever, right? But it's like somebody's leaving a situation. I feel like they're cutting you out of the situation. I will be completely honest with you. I feel like you might be a little upset because somebody is like cutting you out. I don't know in what way. Um, and I don't, it doesn't feel pleasant, but it's like... It is to create more balance for you in your life. It's almost like the universe is removing somebody from your life right now because it's not helping things. It's creating a lot of tension and stress for you right now. And it's almost like the universe is just going to remove this person from your life for now 
um, so that you can find your balance, so that you can feel better. But it's not going to feel better at first. No, no, no. Of course not. It's upsetting. And I get that. Here. Okay. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Yeah. I feel so bitchy, dude. Okay. So, sorry. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. The Emperor. Yeah. Also, Aries energy as well. Um, whoever this is, they're not really... Like, I'm gonna get... Like, there's no love lost here a little bit. It's still upsetting. It, I mean, it's upsetting either way. But this person wants things to go a certain way. This Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is like, it's my way or the highway here. They don't really care about how people feel. This is Ace of Cups. They're not very intuitive right now. You know, they're very focused on what it is that I want. And it's not like, and I can see how that wouldn't help you, you know, here. And like, I don't feel, I mean, I'll be honest. I don't feel like they're wrong in wanting things a certain way. It just might not mesh with you right now, with what's going on with you right now. Because I feel like this person isn't about emotions right now. They are more focused on what is here why is this five of cups here okay yeah i feel like you guys want two different things right now whoever this is whoever this queen of swords is um this energy you're going in two different directions this person wants to go in one direction and you want to go in another direction um that's what is kind of upsetting here okay it's like you're not matching right now you're not yeah okay let's see um where's your energy in this how are you seeing this energy Alright, so you're, yeah, you're not on the same page right now. You don't even think that you guys are on the same page right now, but you feel like you guys, that this connection is something that could be solid, that there could be, you know, a real solid sort of relationship here. You feel like things, again, like you feel like things aren't as bad as they maybe seem to be. Because um, I get here, like you feel like you guys have something going on here. Um, what is that? There's all these fours. Mm, I don't, you might be with this person. There could be some sort of commitment that was made or some sort of promise or something with this person. Because you feel like you're, it's like you feel like you're in this together, but you don't feel like they're cooperate. Like you don't think that you're on the same page, but you feel some sort of connection um, here that it's supposed to last a long time. But the thing is the Hierophant here, when it's in reverse, sometimes we get a little too fixated on that. Maybe too fixated on labels here, perhaps. Um, yeah, you, this person isn't, they're, you feel like this person isn't telling you something, that they're hiding things, that they're not sharing things with you. I think that is where you guys are differing right now, because like I said, this person, whoever this is, they're not in their feels right now. They're not in their, an emotional place. They're being, they're, they're thinking quite logically. And I almost feel like your energy is telling me, no, that's not true. They want to express how they feel, but they just don't want to. But I'm telling you, that's not where their focus is right now. And your your energy's being a little stubborn about that. This is your energy, Taurus. 
you're being a little stubborn about this. You guys just aren't on the same frequency right now. I'm telling you right, that right now. I can see it. It keeps popping up over and over again. And you might not believe me and you might not like to hear it. And sometimes I got to tell you things that you might not want to hear, but you need to hear. And that's what I'm getting here. And I'm not saying this is forever, right? Like, I think people, when they watch tarot, they're like, oh my gosh, that tarot reader told me that we're going to break up and it's going to be forever and forever. I don't know that. I'm just reading current energy. Right now, you guys are not on the same page. And you even think that. I get that here. Like, you even think that, that you guys aren't getting along right now. Okay, you're not getting along right now. It's upsetting. I think on some level, you know that they want different things at the moment. And sometimes that's just how it is. The universe is trying to balance things out here for you. So I do feel like this person, if they haven't already in the near future, they're just they're cutting your energy out and it sucks because I don't like how they're doing it. I'm not I'm not giving this person a pass. I don't like how they're doing it. I think they're being quite mean about it. And it, it is it's sucky. It sucks. OK, anyways, let's see where is this heading in the near future? Where is this energy going? I'm sorry, like, but sometimes like you're being a little stubborn here. So I'm trying to just get that through to you. At least energetically speaking, right? Remember, I don't know you. <laughs> it's a general reading. Keep that in mind. Only take the things that resonate. But also, don't lie to yourself. I mean, I know readers are always like, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That doesn't mean take all the good things and leave all the bad things. Do not do that. Because then you get nothing out of these readings. You might as well, like, what are you even doing here? Right? Right? You know, take... You have to be honest with yourself. You know, if you're watching tarot readings and stuff, or if you're even just thinking about things and trying to work through things, you do have to be honest with yourself and know that sometimes things suck. And sometimes that's just the way things are. Um, but that doesn't mean that's the way things are going to be forever, right? It's always like a, some sort of silver lining, right? Okay, where is this heading? What the fuck? <sighs> okay, I mean, I get that. I understand. Yeah, um, in the near future, fine. Um, it's not really going anywhere. This is, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait here. I'm going to wait for something to fix itself here and playing it safe, not wanting to really start and move forward. Fine. I, I understand it. You're being stubborn because I feel like this is your energy. That's fine. Don't have to listen to me. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what's here. These are very strong. <laughs> Major Arcana. So I have a feeling that you probably aren't going to listen to me. I also have a feeling now looking at this, that you're probably not going to like me very much. And you probably, maybe you might dislike my video or you might unsubscribe from me. Uh, perhaps. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. It is what it is, I guess. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just see an energy of waiting. I'm just going to wait um, before I do anything. I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to wait. Whoever this is, right? Waiting, waiting to see if things get better, if things fix itself. Now, I will say, I mean, we're talking about balance here. Um, it's possible, but I, I don't feel like anything's going to balance or get fixed without some sort of push, without some sort of action here. Let's see, why is this justice here? <clears throat> yeah, okay. Mm. Pages, mm. pages. Uh, I mean, that page, there is a beginning here, but it's like, uh, there is some sort of offer here, but it's waiting for that offer. It's waiting for somebody to offer something here. It's like, hmm. 
that this is what's going to get fixed. I mean, maybe. People have free will. Perhaps. Uh, maybe. But I don't... I don't see anything starting here. I don't see anything new here. No. It is, I do feel it's it's getting to a breaking point here for your own health and, you know. I think that, sure, playing things safe, not wanting to take any risks here because it's too much. It's like not really wanting to almost risk your health here, your own health here. It's like, I got enough going on. I don't need to add more to that. Okay, fine. I mean, that's valid, valid point. Um, not wanting to start anything new, take on anything new, already have enough going on. I don't need to like start new things here. The thing is, is that I don't feel like things are going to get fixed here. Um, this page, this page bothers me. That's why I keep looking at it. It bothers me because this is a page that might want to do something. <sighs> Pages, especially a page of wands, like they like to just do whatever they want. Um, it's a very free spirit and a free, excuse me, free spirited energy. I'm very curious about what's over here, what's over there. It's like this page is going to take up some sort of opportunity. They're going to do something that they want to do. And it's like, I'm going to take this up. The thing is, I don't feel like you're you're going to think that's very fair. Um, yeah, I think it, it, there's, and it affects you emotionally. I wouldn't stick around this energy right now. I honestly wouldn't. I don't feel like it's gonna do you any good to stick around this energy. I can see it. It's not right now, but I just feel like it'll get worse. I understand there's there are there are emotions tied to this, but I just don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna leave you here with this reading because I feel like you've probably already checked out anyways. I'm sorry um, if that's not really what you want to hear, but I already saw it from the first three cards. I just kind of kept going and yeah, I mean, you can yell at me and be like, Alice, there's Queen Cups there. That's a good card. I'm like, I'm not, you didn't know why I pulled that card. I was pulling it on this, on this karma. I was pulling it on this shit over here. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> you you do what you want to do, Taurus. Okay, so thank you. Thank you uh, for watching here. I hope that you come back again. I'm sorry about the reading. Sometimes that's just how it goes. You can always check out any of the other readings, I suppose, if you're feeling drawn to it. But uh, considering that this is the second reading, I'm like, oh, I feel like I, I have a feeling where all these readings are gonna go. But anyways, um, again, thank you, though I do hope that you have a wonderful day, and we are going to move on. Alright, Gemini, let's see what's coming towards you, what's going on, we'll get sort of a theme here. It's kind of the best way I can describe that. It's coming towards you, Gemini. Appreciation. Now, this could be something that's coming towards you that you may find appreciation for. You might be very grateful here, or the energy coming towards you um, may be appreciating you, may be more grateful for you, right? So let's see. What is coming towards you? Either way, it feels nice. It's 
nice to be appreciated or to find appreciation in something that maybe you weren't appreciating before. You know, having gratitude, showing gratitude. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of nice. Could be better, but it's kind of nice. Um, three of pentacles, five of pentacles in reverse, and judgment here in reverse. So, um, there could be people around you that maybe you felt that they were, uh, I don't know if unattainable is the right word, um, maybe even distant from you, or like maybe you felt like you were blocked from these group of people or something like you felt like oh i'm never gonna talk to them again i'm never gonna see them again or something like that um here i don't really think that is the case um it's uh, it's not exact uh because with judgment here it's not like i do feel like this energy is coming back around there is you know judgment just in itself can be about renewals um, second chances and stuff like that. I do feel, but it's not in the exact way um, that you perhaps would expect it. Um, yeah. But I, I think that there is a group of people here that um, you maybe haven't talked to or communicated with um, for a little bit, for some time, and there seems to be some sort of coming back to that energy. I don't know if these people are coming back um, but you might, maybe you might see something that, like, they're thankful for something for you, or, or vice versa. What is judgment here? What are you doing? What are you hiding here? Okay, hold on. This is a letting go. Um, uh, a hanged man. Yeah, like, it can be that you, that maybe there is a group of people that have a new perspective of you. You know, they see you in a different light. I don't feel like they're coming back, like, in a way that you would like them to. Like, maybe they're not, like, reaching out to you, but you might feel or see, um... I don't know if it's a change, but they see you in a different light. And I think they have a newfound appreciation for you here. Uh, strength um, coming here. This is somebody or people that maybe they w were holding back and they're not holding back as much. You know, maybe they were being more disciplined. Maybe they're not being as disciplined here. So... This feels like a little bit of a surprising energy, but because I feel like um, whoever these people are or were, you felt probably like, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> five, five of Pentacles, it, they're gone. It's lost, but um, not so much. I think they're seeing you differently, energetically speaking. So this could lead to more direct communication possibly or you know they just seeing you differently and appreciating um something about you that they weren't that they didn't appreciate before perhaps okay well, let me see your energy how are you seeing this energy So we have death in reverse, um, ten of cups in reverse, and the king of pentacles. You're a little resistant to completely like close the book on these energies, possibly because you did get along or there is some sort of foundation here. If they are people that you worked on something with it's like you got along while you were working on that thing like um it could just be people that you just grew apart from and maybe you still feel like you guys are still on the same page here still 
like there's still that foundation there that you do get along here so you're a little resistant to completely let this go to completely let these people go um whoever they are it's like yeah there's still you still hold on a little bit to this energy here um but you do sort of recognize that you guys your connection that there are issues that there are problems with the connection that you have with them obviously you wouldn't be happy about this because they you, you think that like you've lost them or you've had some sort of falling out or just grown apart or something like that so i get that here from you that's how you're seeing them the king of pentacles maybe you see these people as you know they're working on their things here they got their own things that they got to do here um that's i mean that's all i really get with the king of pentacles i think you respect these people whoever they are um there is a level of respect from you um you just see them as some uh, maybe people that are just focused on what's going on around them like more focused on their jobs their career um, what's going on in their home life um on their health or something like that you know that they're just doing what they need to do in their life like i don't really get any real ill will from you here towards these people whoever they are um they could just be people that maybe you worked with at some point or people that you went to school with um here i don't feel like you have a really deep connection with these people right now um you, they're just people that you knew <laughs> that it maybe it could have became more you could have had uh you know made deeper bonds with these people maybe um perhaps if things didn't like drift apart or have a falling out or whatever that is okay but I don't really see you having much ill will towards them here. But you haven't let that the connections go, meaning you still think about them maybe sometimes, or um, maybe they're still on your contact list or something like that, okay? All right, let's see where this energy is heading in the near future. here um i don't know if this is you or them but somebody here is really struggling with um wanting to reach out somebody here wants to reach out either you want to reach out to them or they want to reach out to you somebody might feel like they might be met with some uh what's the word like pushback resistance here um but there is a there is an attraction here to reach out in a way that is like you know i want to talk about how i feel um or just kind of like hmm. oh, what is with that queen of cups hold on yeah okay yeah it's a reconciliation because i was like when is that there's a lot of emotion behind that yeah, it's like somebody wants to sort of apologize, make things better. Because the Queen of Cups, she's quite kind. She's very empathic, right? And she might be feeling... Somebody's feeling in those feels of like, you know, maybe I should say I'm sorry. You know, maybe I should apologize. Or maybe I should, you know, share how I feel. Uh, maybe that would make them feel better. Because the Queen of Cups, she thinks about other people. And there's a there's there's somebody here i feel who wants to do something they don't just want to sit back here so maybe they actually want to tell you that they appreciate you 
you know, they want to tell you about this new perspective they have of you. You know, they want to share that with you. Somebody here wants to, but there is some pushback here. Where, what is the pushback? There is somebody else. Yeah. There's somebody here that doesn't want them to do that. That that's the the, the three of swords. Uh, it could be, yeah. There's somebody here that doesn't want them to give you attention. I don't know why. I don't know what their problem is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their problem is. King of Cups in reverse. This is just somebody who can't control their emotions. Somebody... Bit of a crybaby. Um, bit of a drama king, drama queen here. Um, they don't want... Yeah, they, they don't want these people or somebody here to give you attention. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it can open up all sorts of, you know, old wounds here and all that. I mean, it can be them as well, their own sort of baggage that they don't want, but it feels with the three here that this is a third energy. This is somebody else um, here. Okay. All right. I don't know if they will or not, I'll be honest, but eh, the intention is there. The want is there. Okay. So well, it's like to be continued. We'll see. Alright, um, that's what I have for you, Gemini, so thank you for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and we're going to move on. Alright, Cancer, let's see what's coming towards you. Let's see what the sort of theme is for you. Whoa. Okay, it might be appreciation again. I don't know why it came out again. Just did that with Gemini. Okay. So, we have appreciation. We have strategy here. Strategy feels like plans. I feel like this is more you. You might... Um, something might not go your way or something might not go according to plan. Um, but or it already hasn't it could be in the past uh, but it's like almost like the silver lining you may have some gratitude or some appreciation towards this like almost you know I'm kind of glad things didn't work out in that way I'm kind of glad that you know things were disrupted here or maybe this is a good thing you know that um, things didn't go according to plan you know something like that it feels a little bit in hindsight um okay let's see let's see what is coming towards you cancer your stuff okay three 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 judgment I'm gonna be honest you might want to watch Gemini's reading there's a lot there's some similar energies here slightly different but very similar because I'm getting a lot of third energy here judgment this feels like resistance There's, it could be people here. I get there's somebody who's coming towards you or people coming towards you that it's like they want to work with you. Here, I get a very sort of cooperative energy. They want to work with you here. It can be to fix something that happened in the past um, with the Three of Swords and with Judgment there. Um, there could be something that happened before with you or with a group of people. Um, I wouldn't say fix, but like almost like wanting to help you out with it here. 
Let me see. Why is this three of swords here? Yeah, okay. Somebody said something or they did something uh, without really thinking. Um, I feel like this is some sort of bone of contention here between you and some people. You know, somebody put their foot in their mouth and I get that there are some there are people here that want to help you with that. Um it's it's weird though because it's like it's not really like I kind of almost feel like maybe this is something that you don't want or it's it's very odd. It's not it's not coming through as As simple it feels kind of complicated what is judgment here I see it's like it can't happen right now there's a delay here again delay of plans like the energy is here the energy is like at your door it's like knocking at your door here but it's not going through the door and this might be a good thing for you, to be honest. Maybe what's going on in your life right now, maybe this is something that you don't need at the moment. The energy is there. You know, the universe could be just, hey, I'm just going to let you know that these people are willing to, you know, work on you, work with you on this um, here. But maybe the time isn't right right now. And I, there could be, you could be appreciating that, you know, it could be like, you know, that's that works for me <laughs> maybe something like that because it's like it's here but it's not here yet the universe could be delaying it making them wait i don't know why let me see let's see your energy here towards this how are you seeing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get like you have feelings towards this energy um you have very deep feelings very strong feelings towards this but i also get that it's like you're recovering still like you're in this sort of recovery mode you're not it's like you don't really want to give to this right now or you're unable to give to this right now um probably because you're still healing so tell me more about the six of pentacles it could be just that you don't want to Yeah, you need more information. You're still gathering information here on perhaps maybe on what you can give. Um, if you want to give to this, it's because it's like it's, it's reciprocal, right? It's like you're not going to give to this energy unless you're going to get something back. So you're still sort of gathering information, you know, even just information for yourself. If this is something that you want to invest in, that you want to give in, because like I'm getting here, I'm only going to give to this if it gives back to me. It's like none of this, like me giving more to this and not getting anything back. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that here. You, just, even if you have strong feelings towards whatever the situation is, it's like you're still recovering, right? I, I get you in very in a very quiet space here when it comes to this energy. You don't say anything to the to these people here. You you don't speak to them. Um, you're very quiet, but I feel it's a healing energy. You're doing it for yourself. I feel like whatever this is, it was quite emotional for you. Um, whatever happened there, there are a lot of emotions tied to this. It feels a bit hesitancy, like a bit hesitant from you. But like I said, like, it almost is like, you know, this, this works for me that this isn't going to happen right now, that it's on pause. There's a hold here. Cause that's what I get from you. 
It's like you're still trying to find more information on whether you want to give to this or not. Okay. Or how much you want to give to it. It's not really, really whether you want to or not. It's like, if I give to this, is it going to give back to me? Am I going to get something back from this? Or am I just going to be sitting here giving all my energy and not being appreciated or not getting anything back? So let's see where this is heading in the near future. Where's this energy heading? Eight, 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 seven. Uh, eight of swords, eight of pentacles in reverse, seven of swords in reverse. I get that somebody here, like, I don't really see this moving forward right now. Um, somebody here feels like they can't do anything here. Um, they're, they're, somebody can be just busy with other things here, uh, working on other things here, distracted with other things here. Um, I don't think it's a big secret though. I think that they are, I wouldn't say that they're super open about it. It's just, I, I think it, I think what will happen here is that somebody will see it will be exposed in some way that somebody is working on something else. I feel like that's you. Like that they that this energy is going to see what you've been working on, you know, in your silence here. Because you're the one that's silent here. I mean, you can be like, oh, it's like whoever these people aren't talking to me either. Yeah, but I mean, you could talk to them if you really wanted to. Anybody could talk to somebody if they really, really wanted to. Um, but I just feel like you're not really putting a lot into this. And I get that with the Six of Pentacles. You're not putting a lot of your energy, your time and effort into this. And it could be because you're putting it into other things. Could be, um, your work, your, your career, um, just things that you're working on. So I get like somebody is going to feel or think that they can't do anything about this because they're gonna see that you're working on other things what's with the seven of swords where's that come from because what is hidden is becoming revealed okay this is what that seven of swords is telling me the queen of wands who is that? okay if the mask is coming off okay the queen of wands somebody's mask is coming off um, somebody who is trying to act a certain way, um, you know, put out a certain image here. That image is kind of falling away here. Maybe it's too it's too difficult to keep that image up, you know. So at some point, you can't keep it up, and the mask comes off, and the mask is going to come off here and just show that somebody has been working on something else perhaps you know their efforts have been towards something here no okay yeah i mean it's outside of this here this connection here um It's interesting because the page of cups was sideways and I was like, is it more reversed or is it more upright? There's some sort of perhaps creative endeavor here, but it's not solely that it's creative. Um, it's a little outside the box, whatever this is, this eight of pentacles, but it's, um, it's possible, whatever it is, it's not impossible. So like, whatever it is that you're working on, there's a possibility for it to happen, for it to actually work out. Um, but it does require some external, it re requires some luck basically here. So I feel whatever it is that you're working on, it, it can feel, or maybe other people might see it as, you know, why are you even doing that? That, you know, that, that's not going to happen. That's just a pipe dream or something like that. Um, but 
there is a possibility that it could work out, um, you know, if the stars aligned and things like that. Okay, fine. All right, it's fine. Okay, um, that's what I have for you, Cancer. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and we're going to move on. Okay, Leo, sorry. I was like, this is fan. Okay, there we go. That's not making weird noise. All right, let's see what's going on. Leo, what's coming towards you? We'll get kind of the theme here. Okay. <clears throat> what's this? The temple path in reverse. This is all about spirituality, um, your spiritual journey here. You might feel blocked or some sort of delays here on your spiritual path. Uh, maybe feeling lost, um, not feeling like you know where you're going, um, maybe a bit confused about your purpose, maybe questioning things, questioning a you know, the universe, things like that. Okay. So let's see what's coming towards you. Leo. Yeah. Yep. Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, I get like, this is a challenge. You're, you're feeling challenged here. You're on the defense here. Somebody may have said something to you. Um, what they were saying, I don't feel like it, they were speaking their truth here. Um, and it's like, somebody might be on their guard here about something that they've said um or something that they are saying and it's like well this is my truth you can't tell me any different than that i do feel like it has something to do with their their thoughts on spirituality on perhaps religion on the universe mm -hmm. things like that because this is the theme right so i feel like that is what they're talking about somebody here is like very defensive about that. I feel you might feel a bit conflicted here about it. Um, I get that this person is very tired um, and it feels like it comes from a place where maybe this person feels like they have to always explain themselves. Like they're always explaining themselves. So that's why they're quite defensive here. So you might come across somebody um, perhaps this week who is like <laughs> very defensive because they have maybe recently had to kind of defend themselves, you know, and they've just gotten sick and tired of it. They're getting sick and tired of it here. Okay. But it does feel like it probably has something to do with their spiritual beliefs or something along those lines. Okay, let me see. How are you viewing this energy? How do you see this? Oh, it could be the Gemini, Gemini placements. Also. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I mean, this kind of goes with this energy as well. Like what I said here about maybe you're being a little skeptical, maybe you're sort of questioning your purpose, your life purpose, or, you know, how you see spirituality, things like that here. Uh, so you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Cups, and the Devil. Um, I don't feel like you dislike this energy, whoever this is, you get some sort of enjoyment out of it. Um, I don't know why like I'm getting this is somebody that like you hear, somebody that you watch. Um, it could be like 
uh, could be a tarot reader, could be like, um, uh, or it could just be, like, I don't know why, like, it just feels like, like a influencer or somebody that, you know, makes videos talking about sharing their opinions and things like that. It could be that, because I get that you get enjoyment out of this person speaking their mind. So that's why it feels that way. Like maybe this is somebody that you watch a lot, like uh, like a YouTuber or something like that, some sort of content creator, because I get you get enjoyment out of it. But also there is an unhealthy aspect to this, like the devil, you might be kind of, a, a, I was going to say obsessed and a, a, addicted. I was going to say abdicted. <laughs> You could be kind of obsessed or addicted to this energy. That's why I'm also getting like a sort of a social media aspect here. Um, could be somebody on TikTok or something. You watch all their TikToks or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly. But there is uh, an obsession here. You're very like into this energy here. Um, again, with the Six of Pentacles, it's not very reciprocal here. And it... I honestly, this feels so much like this is just somebody that you enjoy watching <laughs> because the Six of Pentacles, again, it's not feeling reciprocal. Um, you, it could be like a parasocial type of relationship where, you know, it goes one way kind of thing. Um, also, the Six of Pentacles can be, maybe the way that you're seeing this is that you give to to this person like you listen to them but they don't listen to you i mean that doesn't it doesn't have to be that you don't know this person if you do know this person maybe this person talks a lot and they won't they always talk about their opinions but then when it's your turn to talk it's just like they're not really listening or something there's something that isn't balanced in this connection that you have um with this incoming energy okay i want to know about the devil Oh, hi. Yeah, okay. In moderation. Yeah, it's just about moderation. How much time you spend um, with this energy. Uh, you could try, you could spend a lot of time with this energy, whether it's a person or somebody that you watch on like social media or something. I think that you do spend a lot of time um, here. Um, and I think, I don't, I don't know if you're aware of it. Maybe. It could be you spend more time with this energy when you're not in a good place uh, with the Ten of Swords, when you're at a low point in your life or in your day even. Could be just the lowest point of your day, you know, the suckiest part of your day. Um, you spend doing this because, you know, the devil, it's kind of easy, easy things. It's like junk food, right? Okay. Let's see. Where this is going i do feel like it's question this this energy is making you question the spiritual path that you're on or question what you believe in in terms of spirituality and stuff like there there's a bit of skepticism there from you well let's see where's this heading in the near future Ten of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel the whatever relationship that you have with this energy, um, it might be a little fragmented here. It might become a little bit fragmented here. You might not get as much enjoyment out of this as you maybe used to perhaps, or that you are currently. Um, I get there's a waiting energy here. Maybe you're going to wait and see what happens because there's only so much that you can do here. Maybe you're going to wait and see maybe if you feel better, if you feel differently um, about this. There's somebody here who is acting a little entitled with that King of Pentacles. I'm getting somebody who feels like things are owed to them. 
could have to do with money here. I don't know if this is you or that other energy. It could be both of you where just feeling like I'm getting with time mostly like entitled to their time, um, entitled to like I, you know, you should be giving to me, you should be giving more to me, um, something like that here. It is kind of greedy. It's coming across as greed, uh, that King of Pentacles, um, maybe you might wait and see if that blows over, <laughs> um, or see if anything sort of changes there with that energy. You might even just be reflecting on the time that you have spent, because I feel like, like with that devil, a lot of time I feel has been spent either w like with this person, talking to this person, watching this person, and you might be very reflective of was this time well spent? Um, or, you know, did I invest my time well into this? But I, I still feel like you, your energy is probably going to invest more time into this in the future anyways. It's uh, because there is a level of enjoyment here. It's just not the pinnacle of enjoyment. It's not making you perhaps as happy as it was. But I still feel you're still going to invest some time into this. I don't feel like you're just going to stop investing time into this. Um, you might even invest money into the, into this energy because I'm getting somebody here's going, gimme, 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 and you actually might invest into it. What is this King of Pentacles? Why is that like that? Oh, something's become, okay. A lot more stressful for this person, whoever this King of Pentacles is. That's where the entitlement, the greed is coming from. Um, they're just no longer holding back how much they want it, how much they want something here. They're like, well, I fucking deserve this, blah, 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 blah. Um, it feels like stress is getting to this person. Um, they're dealing with a lot. There's a lot on their plate and they're just no longer being disciplined and holding back. So this is like their true intentions, this King of Pentacles. I mean, it could be you, could be them. I don't know who it could be both of you. All right. Um, well, I mean, there's just a wait and see. We'll just, you know, wait and see what happens here. But I, I do feel there are some things for you to think about and reflect on here. Okay. Um, that's what I have for you, Leo. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and we're going to move on. All right, Virgo. Let's see. What's going on? What's coming towards you? And get a um, the theme. Oh, storm warning. Ooh, okay. Well, a storm is a brewin here. You got something coming towards you. It's not quite here yet, but it's coming. So I, you know, I'd say this, if this was like a weather forecast, um, there are storms coming towards you. Thunderstorms really like seeks shelter type of storms. So, um, it says storm warning. So I'm going to say whatever's coming towards you. There is a warning here, probably for you to be vigilant and to um, be more careful than usual. You know, look before you leap. Let's see, what is coming towards you? Coming towards Virgo. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. You have the higher event, the wheel of fortune, and in, in reverse, and the emperor's in reverse. You got some bad luck coming towards you. I'm going to tell you that it, it's not you. 
Okay, um, this is just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, um, literally, here. Maybe, maybe even literally. Um, what is the, I mean, the Hierophant is, this is just how things are. And it's not anything that you can really do about it. The Hierophant can just be how people are, how society is. It can be some sort of rule that is already in place. Um, I don't know in what that pertains to. Let me see. What is the higher? What what is that? Tell me a little bit more about the hierophant here. Like what are we talking about here? Oh hi, the moon in reverse. Uh, yeah okay. Thank you for <laughs> doubling down on that. I'm gonna. I was gonna say. I mean, it's out in the open. It's something that is very clear. The rules. Okay. Whatever the rules are, they are written out. Like it can be a contract or something, they're there. There's no sort of mistaking what these rules are. Whatever your restrictions are, whatever the boundaries are, they are written out in plain English for you to see. Like, uh, it's like you can't miss them. Now, just because those are the rules, it feels like this, it's a law. It could be a law. Um, doesn't mean that it's fair or that it's in your favor, right? Uh, so whatever this is, it is... It is, I wouldn't say, it's not coming to light. That's the thing. They're there. The rules are there. That moon. It's confusing. I think that it's confusing. It might You might be confused. Why is that the rule? Why is that the law? That makes no sense. But it is still the law. Okay? That's how it's coming across. And um, I think that maybe this is something that you just found out about with the Seven of Swords. Um, it could have just been revealed to you, but it was always there. Um, but it was like pointed out to you here and I think you might like there's confusion around well why is that a thing why is that a law or whatever like why is that the way things are why is that a rule why is that why do we act that way like why is that social etiquette whatever I don't know what it pertains to exactly but it's like so why is that the rule that's the easiest way for me to say rule why is that the way things are it's not in your favor no um you may feel Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know how you you know how you feel, but it's just it's not going to go your way. Um, it is unfortunate here. It's unfortunate that this is the way things are. It's not. It's not helpful to you here. Um, you have somebody here who is pulling back their energy because of this. Whatever the rules are, whatever the rule is here. Um, it's nothing that I feel like whoever this is, this divine feminine energy or you can do anything about. It's just the way it is. And they are closing up shop here. This is somebody who, this is somebody who's not very supportive of whatever this rule is either. I don't like, I don't get that this person, whoever this is particularly likes the way things are but it is what it is um let me one for the empress here i feel like this empress is somebody who likes to be more impulsive they like to just do things here but this is maybe um it's not that it's holding them back. I feel like they they would do something if they could, but they're not. I don't feel like they are. It's a very passive energy, which is really surprising to see the Knight of Wands there, because the Knight of Wands just wants to do things. Sorry, the Knight of Wands wants to just do things, um, very impulsively, you know, and explosive energy here. But because whoever this is has that within them, very Sagittarius energy, uh, it's like they have to shut down. They have to sort of 
block their energy because they're prone to being impulsive and they're prone to doing things very explosive very like big um sort of actions here very bold actions here so because of this energy because that's just the way it is they're not doing anything they are pulling back their energy from you i don't know what the situation is i'm just explaining here the energy and they're very strong energies as well so like it's like these you can't you can't change these rules they're unchangeable like that's why i'm like it feels like a law or something like it's something that is practically set in stone it can change but it could only change through like legislation or something like that like it's not something that you can easily change and it's not something that you can easily ignore because we have major arcana here right um what do we have here cancer uh taurus um fixed signs here more taurus leo uh scorpio aquarius i mean yeah uh earth energy taurus your energy virgo capricorn here um also libra and like i said sagittarius okay let's see where are you in this how are you viewing this energy I would say that whoever this empress is, it's not their fault. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. I knew, I knew this fucker was gonna come out. I'm sorry. But I'm like, I know justice is gonna, is gonna fucking come out. I didn't know in what way it was gonna come out, but I knew it was gonna come out. Why is with all the major arcana? Okay, so we have justice, we have the devil in reverse, we have the ace of wands here in reverse. I feel like when it comes to whatever this rule is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to say you agree with the rule, but it's like, you know why it's there. I think you obey it. It is, I feel like this is a law. I feel very strongly that a lot of this has to do with legal aspects here, with justice. This is the law, and I feel like you are going to obey the law. You're not, you're you're not breaking the law. You're not somebody who would break the law here. So I do get that you would obey the law. It's like, yeah, I understand that is the law here. That's what I get from you. Okay, fine. Um, the devil. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not in your favor. It isn't here. Um, devil. It's like you're trying not to fall into this sort of negative space here. You're trying not to be triggered. And I feel like you're trying not to be triggered because you're trying to tell yourself, well, there's nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it is. And I think that that is how you are sort of justifying things for yourself here is that you're justifying whatever the situation is here in that it's not in my control there's nothing i can do about it so this is how you try to not get triggered by the whole thing um but it does bother you i get it, it does bother you here with the devil being there it there on some level it bothers you but what can you do you know that's just how it is the Ace of Wands. Um, I almost feel like you, you look at this Empress, whoever this is, as they're not trying. Like, why don't you try? You should try. Like this, you don't like this. I don't, I got, you don't like this. Th which is weird because it's conflicting here to me because it's like okay you understand what the law is you're gonna follow the law but at some but i also get with this empress this empress who's pulling their energy away somebody who normally would be very um action oriented it's like almost like you 
you don't find that attractive, I guess. I guess it's something like you don't like that. It's like undesirable for somebody to be so passive. And I think it's because this person, you see, they're used to being somebody who does things, you know, they, they, you know, they take action, bold action. If I'm going to be honest, it feels kind of critical of you, kind of, um, yeah for for this to be your energy towards this because that because i'm getting here it's like okay you're gonna follow the law you understand what the law is but at the same time there's almost like disappointment that this person won't break the law like what is that <laughs> something like that it's weird <laughs> okay okay virgo no, like, I mean, of course, I'm being like, I'm exaggerating. I'm just explaining the energy here. But it just it feels like this ace of wands just feels like I'm not attracted. I don't I don't desire somebody who's so passive. I don't desire this passive energy. Yeah, okay. Just tell me, just give me one for that ace of wands. I think that perhaps there's something that excites you about somebody who is willing to break the law or something or to go against um, what is um, like going against the grain here, going against conformity here. And maybe you thought that, you know, this is somebody that would because of their energy here. You still have some hope. <laughs> Probably because of this, the, that Knight of Wands. This this is somebody here who perhaps is not usually very passive. Like I don't know, I don't know. They have the they have this fire in them. That's why I keep going back. It's like, it's like somebody who is taking their energy away. You know, closing. I'm shut down for business here. I'm not going to, you know, create any more with this energy here, because I know. You know, because I have this fire in me. This is somebody who's being very proactive here, to be honest. Um, but <laughs> it's like you're not really attracted to that here. Because it's like you were hoping that they wouldn't. It's like you were hoping that they would break the law here, whatever. That they were going to, to break it. But they didn't. Or they're not. Okay, where's this heading? Where is this heading in the near future? So much major arcana. That's why I'm spending so much time talking about this because there's so much major arcana here. It seems like this is important. Yeah. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody's biding their time here, that Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, you can rely on that energy. Um, they'll do something, but they're going to do it at their own pace here, okay? Uh, the Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody, it's not the right time. They're like, you know, something about this connection or a connection here. There are some issues here and maybe they're waiting for, I don't know what they're waiting for, but they just, it's like, it's not the right time. You know, maybe the connection, there is that potential to be um, that 10 of cups, to be happiness here, but it's not right now. So somebody's here is waiting they're they're waiting something out here um queen of wands also yeah they are kind of i guess you can say controlling the narrative here a little bit here by taking their time now i don't know if this is you or if this is somebody else but somebody here is going to take their sweet ass time but they're still focused on the prize whatever that pentacles is you know they're still going to do what they intended to do they're still focused on the goal here they're just going to take things a little slow here maybe because the opportunity isn't there they're waiting for a better opportunity before they move things forward here um yeah 
I'm going to be honest, whoever this is, they're being a little... with that Queen of Wands? I, I, well, it seems this way. I don't know if this is how it is, but it seems like they're being... Uh, what's the best word to describe that? I don't want to say selfish, because that's not exactly it. Um... Like, they seem like they're being, like, <sighs> hold on. There's there, there's a word. It's on the tip of my tongue. I just don't want to sit here and um, maybe insincere. Um, like, they're not really into this. Like, they don't give a shit. Or that they only care about themselves, which I guess can be kind of selfish. Um, like, it makes them seem... Like, they're above it. Because it's like, well, I can wait. And it's like, okay, well, maybe somebody else can't wait. And so somebody's, you know, saying, well, I'm going to take my time here. It's like, well, that kind of just seems like you feel like you're above other people. That you're above perhaps this energy. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Yeah, I mean, they can seem, I guess, fake because there are things that need to be worked out. And it's like, if they're not working on it, yeah. There are things that need to be worked out that aren't really being worked on. They're being delayed here. It's like, there could be better things that they could be doing, but they're not. I mean, this, this I mean, I don't know. This can be you, this can be somebody else, but... I mean, that's just in the near future. It's minor arcana. This is minor arcana. This can change. This other stuff, probably not so much. Not here. Now, like I said, a warning. I feel like the warning pertains to this. Some This being like finding out that about whatever this is. And having to sort of deal with that here deal like whatever process it maybe okay all right that's what i have for you virgo uh i know it's kind of long just because so much major arcana so much like important energy to talk about but um <laughs> thank you thank you for watching thank you for sticking around and uh i hope that you have a wonderful day and we're gonna move on all right libra let's see what's coming towards you What is going to you? Let's see what the theme is. Oh, hi. What is that? Door to spirit. Eh, your intuition might be kind of blocked here. Um, this week you might be doing perhaps more thinking than feeling here. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see what's coming towards you. It's like having um like writer's block, but in terms of you know, sensing things. It's like you might even be questioning, am I feeling what I'm really feeling? Or is that me just thinking about it? Like you could get a little bit more confused this week whether that is like your ego talking or if that is your intuition talking and you might overthink things this is yeah okay all right let's coming towards libra we're gonna pentacle moves with the people Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Um, this is Capricorn, Aries.
this is somebody who's they're gonna say they're okay when they're not okay you know they're gonna insist you know i'm fine that that's that might be their favorite saying this week is i'm fine they are not fine i don't know why they're not fine um but they're gonna say they're fine and like over and over they're just gonna keep saying i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine <laughs> uh yeah i mean they're just trying to hold things together here hold down the fort what's with this queen of pentacles they're not really getting much help here could be a work thing Ooh, whoa okay it could be they're dealing with somebody here somebody immature uh yeah they could be dealing with some sort of stalker. Um, that's possible. There's somebody here who's just pretty immature. Um, it's Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. Like I said, could be somebody at work. Um, somebody who thinks that they're right, you know, big know-it-all, somebody who just assumes things. Um, yeah, this is, this is where you're gonna have some problems here with your intuition. So, this is somebody who's going to say they're fine and you might feel like a little like, you know, I don't think that they're fine, but they're going to keep on insisting that they're fine. And then it's going to make you second guess, you know, am I really like, are they fine? Like, am, is what I'm feeling really what I'm feeling? Because they seem fine because this person is really good at seeming like everything's okay. Like, it's not like one of those, oh, I'm fine, and you can say, it's like, they're going to be like, you know, like, really, I'm okay. I don't know what your problem is. Like, I'm fine. But that's not the case. And you're going to feel that. You're going to feel that they're not fine. But what they're showing you is they're really good at showing that everything is fine. And so it's going to make you question, you know, how you're feeling. Because this is somebody who isn't fine. Um they might feel like they have to deal with something on their own here and it feels like it's a person they're dealing with somebody here who is just yeah this is a piece of work here this is just somebody here who you know they make a lot of excuses or they just think that they know things here they could be very invasive this could be somebody who starts rumors starts gossip here you know invades privacy here as well very immature energy and this is something that this person may be dealing with, but they're not saying anything to you about it. Okay, let's see. How are you seeing this energy? Where are you at? A song just popped in my head. And I was like, what is that song? The, where are my girls at, girls at? Like, what is, I've not heard that song for years. I don't even like, really even like the song. Weird, okay, fine. I'll go with it. <sighs> I think, yeah, you care about this person, whoever this is. I feel like this is somebody that is very close to you. Um, uh, could be a friend here. A lot of feminine energy also going on. So I do feel like there's a, uh, I do feel like this person is quite caring. Um, but I feel, yeah, you, you have emotions towards this person. Um, like you, maybe you hold a special place in your heart for this person. I get this is somebody that you have maybe shared how you feel to them or how you've been feeling something like that you might feel this person is a little distant from you with the six of swords maybe there is distance like actual distance like maybe they live far away from you so maybe it's hard to sort of gauge on are they okay or not that could be part of the sort of like it just feels like I'm, I was just picturing like you know your Wi-Fi signal your like intuitive signal is like 
it's like interference or something like you're having a hard time here it could be just be because of the dis distance um yeah i think that there's something about this person this connection that you feel closed off from and something that you can't see here um this might just be in your head because even if you have physical distance between you that doesn't mean that you can't feel the, the energy this could just be something that you have in your head um that you there's something about the distance here that kind of restricts you it's like just because you're far away doesn't mean that you can't understand them or that you can't you know sense these things or that you can't help them even i think there's a little bit of that too it's like maybe you think that you're limited in what you can do to help this person um here as well okay but i do get you really care about them like i said it doesn't have to be physical distance it's just feeling that they're distant from you and feeling like thinking that you can't help them because it's like well they don't want to come to me or you know they're not opening up to me what can i do to help and that's just your limited way of thinking um towards this okay let's see where is this heading in the near future where's this energy heading in the near future for you kind of nice nine of cups uh nine of wands the high priestess here ah you're not gonna give up on your intuition i like that um you might have some sort of breakthrough or something here because i get there's more of a focus like okay it even could be you know because of the reading but i do also feel like you might feel there's something off about your intuition and this could be you focusing more on that and like okay i'm gonna focus more on my feelings how i'm feeling and you might even offer your feelings to this person you know be showing a little bit of vulnerability here or something the knight of cups or just expressing how you feel to them you know because i get you care about this person so you might just show this person how you feel and you know maybe maybe that brings down some some walls i don't know um, here, but I get this is your energy at the nine of wands. It's like, you know, I feel it. This is the wounded warrior. It's like, yes, I'm down. I'm and I'm down, but I'm not out kind of thing. I'm not going to give up here. And I get you're not going to give up. You're not going to let distance or anything like that get in the way here. This is your intuition, the high priestess. And so you kind of finding your groove back here, finding your mojo, whatever, with the high priestess here. And I feel it might just take you opening up, being more vulnerable, expressing how you feel. And that could help here with you. So there's a little bit of spiritual guidance there as well. But I see somebody here um, offering their feelings. It could be, um, it could be an apology, but... I mean, obviously, if you don't have anything to apologize for, it doesn't have to be an apology, but it's just feels like, hey, you know, I care about you and, you know, in however way that you're going to say or express that. Um, it can be just like, you know, showing somebody that you care right um, here because it's like, I'm, well, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I feel something here and it's like trying to figure that out. Okay. All right, um, that's what I have for you, Libra. So thanks for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and we're gonna move on. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on and what's coming towards you. Let's just kind of get the theme. Was it? Oh, victory. Oh, what? Okay. Hmm. I feel you're very, you may be feeling very goal oriented this week, but I think that there might be some things that get in your way. Like, it's coming across to me as maybe there are things that you want to get done this week, but they might not be that easy to get done, or there could be some setbacks. 
um, here are obstacles or some challenges that are getting in the way. Um, doesn't mean that you can't like accomplish your goals this week, but there seems to be some issues, some blocks here. Um, might be a little bit more difficult. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. Maybe there'll be some of these obstacles. So at least you can kind of be aware of things. All right, what's coming towards Scorpio? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. So you got somebody. You have a King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus energy. You got somebody coming towards you who wants to offer you something, but it kind of looks a little like it's too good to be true. Like it almost looks like they're trying to give you something for free, but it's more beneficial for them than it is for you. Like it seems kind of selfish here. Uh, yeah. It feels like it might, yeah. I don't, okay, I'm gonna have to clarify this, but it, it feels like they're only prioritizing themselves even though they're giving something to you, right? I don't know what they're giving to you, but it, it comes across as, hey, here's this free thing, or hey, yeah, you can have this, or here, here you go. And it seems like um, it would be something that would be good for you and for them. Like, you're both kind of winning in the situation. It seems that way, but it's like they're only doing it because it benefits them. Okay, what's this two of pentacles? Yeah, I mean, they're just focused on really their own happiness here. <laughs> their own victories. Oh, what's this queen of pentacles? Queen and King of Pentacles. Um, if this person is with somebody, like if they're in a relationship, they're gonna prioritize that relationship over you. This feels like, yeah. Now, that seems very specific. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can just be somebody um, around them that gives them what they want or what they need. Um, so they're gonna focus on that. That even could be you, I'll be honest. Um, it's just somebody that is giving them, you know, what they want and what they need. That is what their focus is. Their focus is I want to feel supported and I want to be happy, but it's very sort of selfish energy. It's very sort of entitled energy, right? Okay, yeah. I do feel like this is partially probably what will delay your own goals and your own victories because they're focused on their goals and their victories right here also strong leo vibes and uh capricorn as well very materialistic right all of this has to do with money or things um material things okay let's see how you're seeing this energy where are you scorpio This could be like at like a job or something, um, if it has to do with money, school even. Yeah, pain in the ass, pain in the ass. Oh, uh, I mean, this is somebody you're connected to. This is somebody you have some sort of connection to. And I think that's why this is a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't see you like giving up on this energy, but you are butting heads because probably because you see that you guys aren't doing it for the same reasons. You know, they're doing it for themselves for very selfish reasons here. And I, that, yeah, I mean, obviously you butt heads with that. That's not really what you want here i get you want to be in a partnership with this person it's like you kind of want to do it together you're not in it for just yourself you're here in a very sort of cohesive you know partnership you and me they're just thinking about me and that's where the problems are for you um 
yeah, it is a pain in your butt. It will take a lot of your energy. You see this person as very draining. Um, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> is it because this person, like, the way they talk, they're very direct and it's not in a good way? I think, I think sometimes this person, how they talk, there's a Libra energy. It's like, they can seem very cold at times because they're very, like I said, they're very focused on their own needs. It's not that they don't care about your needs. It's just, they put their needs before yours, before anybody else's. And it's like they, they might even make that known because they might, like I said, this person feels kind of entitled. It's like... I don't know exactly why, but for example, it's like somebody who has seniority and they're like, well, I've been here longer, so I deserve to be put over you. And you're here like, no, let's do this together. And, you know, you're not any better than I am. But they're like, well, no, I've been here longer, so I, you know, my needs are more important. It's annoying. And I mean, I feel like at least on your part it's like you have the same goals but for some reason they're just being really difficult and that's where i'm getting the difficulty in achieving your goals this week because of somebody's just kind of being stupid about it because they're not being um equal here okay um Let's see, where is this heading? Where is this energy heading in the near future? Uh. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I do feel you're going to accomplish something here. It's like, I don't feel like, like, I didn't even feel like that, that all is lost. It's just very difficult here. You're going to do it on your own. You're just going to end up doing it on your own. That's why I get with the three of pentacles. It's like, okay, if they're not cooperating with me. I get that you want to cooperate with them. You want to be in it together, but you're going to end up, I feel, doing it on your own anyways, if you want to get done what you need to get done here. If you want to have any sort of victory that you want here. Um, I don't feel like you have any sort of, like... Uh, ill will towards this person not really i know the way i'm saying it it's like why would i like why would i be okay with that um I, it could be family to be honest or there's some reason here for why they're acting like it, it could, there could be a good reason for that um why this person is this way you know i don't know because i get a lot of compassion from you i get a lot of empathy from you with this queen of cups here there's there's an understanding so maybe this person is going through some personal shit or um, I don't know, maybe something happened to them. Maybe, you know, they just had a really bad day and you understand that. The Queen of Cups, she's very understanding of emotions, you know, people and how they feel. Very sort of um, empathic here. So I feel that that may be part of why, you know, it's like, okay, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to do it on my own because it's like clearly like you're going through something and... You know, I, I get it, so I'll just do it on my own. If, I, I'm, if I'm gonna get it done, I'm just gonna do it on my own. Okay. All right. Um, that's what I have here for you, Scorpio. Seems pretty straight and to the point, surprisingly. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna leave you here with that for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and we're gonna move on. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's coming towards you. What's going on? We'll just kind of get what the theme is here first. What is this? Uh, door to personal healing and success. So you have a blockage here to feeling 
perhaps happy, successful, secure even. You might be feeling a little insecure this week um, because of some sort of energy here. I don't know if that's you blocking it or if it's external energy or both. So let's see what is coming towards you, Sagittarius. Cups, Eight of Swords, in reverse, Four of Cups. Hmm. I mean, this is somebody who's quite kind. Um, there's Cancerian energy here. Somebody who... They might think that you're ignoring them. Or somebody's ignoring them. They might be. They might feel rejected. I don't know if it's by you. Um, something. Something is rejecting them here, and they're thinking a lot about it. So they might come towards you. Maybe they want to talk about it with you. The Queen of Cups. You know, she does like to share how she's feeling. Um, she likes to have those intimate conversations, those close heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. Um, what's this Four of Cups? Where's this coming from? Okay, so it could be relationship problems. Somebody could be having some relationship problems here and feeling ignored, um, feeling rejected here. So somebody is coming towards you, wanting to possibly share and talk about it here. Um, looking for some sort of emotional support. I feel like they're looking from, from it from you. Okay. All right. Let's see how you see this energy. So this person um, may have recently gone through something painful. So I feel like you might see that they're thinking a lot about this because they are have, have dealt with some pain, uh, like a lot of pain recently, or are dealing with some sort of pain here. The Hierophant in reverse, um, it could be unusual for you like that it's unusual perhaps for this person to feel rejected um or something like that like there's something that it's going against the grain for you this isn't like how they usually act um or it's not the norm for you so this isn't the norm for you and i get Yeah, maybe this person, they don't usually come at you like this. Like, it seems kind of sudden. Um, like, they're just suddenly talking about this. Like, I don't know, maybe you didn't even know that this person was in a relationship. If it has to do with a relationship. So it's like, oh, like, I didn't even know you were in a relationship. And now you're talking to me about this. Um, or if you knew, it's like you thought everything was okay in the relationship. So this is kind of like unusual um, for you, for this person to be acting this way. Um, and it's like suddenly they're coming at you for some emotional support and it's like, oh, okay. Um, but I feel like you do know something about this ten of swords. Like you do see something that this person has been suffering at some point like recently. I don't know if it has to do with what they're coming towards you with or it was just something else. Wait, where is this? Where, where is this ten of swords coming from? Okay, so you're not entirely sure. You just maybe have a feeling, a little inkling here. 
Um, I'm gonna say that all of this, it feels like it disrupts your life a little bit. Um, because it's like, it might even feel like you can't enjoy your life or you can't feel happiness here because, you know, somebody is dealing with some things here, you know, dealing with um, some things that, you know, they want to talk about and all that. So you might feel a little blocked um, from feeling sort of peace and contentment and all that. This is kind of like a disruption a little bit. All right. Um, where is this heading in the near future? Someone of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Cups. Um, it is, uh, there's a lot of free will going on here. It really depends on how things go. It really depends on um, what direction somebody goes in. This can be you. It can, it depends on like how you want to deal with this, uh, with that Seven of Cups. Like I'm thinking like how yeah how do you where do you want to go with this what do you want to do next here it really depends like are you going to listen to this person are you going to give them the emotional support that they're asking from you are they are you going to ignore them are you going to blow them off you're you going to focus more on yourself like it really depends on what you're going to do here um yeah because I mean, I see here with the Three of Cups, like you're going to, it, it seems for you, whatever it is that you do, you're going to have some sort of um, social fun here. Um, but I don't know if it's with this person or with other people, because it really depends on what you do here. Um, let me see about the Seven of Cups. Because you do have options here. I don't feel like you have to act now, but soon. Like there could be a little bit of a limited time offer on this here. Cause it's like almost like if you, the longer you wait, the more sort of suspicious it gets. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know how sometimes if, you know, it's like if somebody sends you a message and if you don't reply right away, it's fine. You still got some time. But you know, if the days keep going on, then it starts to look a little bit more suspicious on your part. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. But you do have options. You have many options of what you want to do, who you want to hang out with, who you want to talk to about this. What do you want to do? You know, the world is your oyster. You can do anything here. Um, I do feel like this is a friend, um, but I feel like there are other friends too. So it's like, it is kind of up to you how you want to show your emotion, how you want to, who do you want to share your time with basically? Like, who do you want to like have fun here with? This is three of cups. Yeah. I mean, there's another three, three of pentacles. I don't, not everybody is going to be on board though. Okay. So it, that's why I'm saying it is up to you how you want to spend your time. You know, who do you want to like socialize with here? But it is difficult because not everybody is going to want to hang out with everybody else. You know what I mean? I know Sagittarians. Sagittarians like to like they like to combine things, right? They like to, they like, like everybody to kind of hang out with everybody in a sense sometimes. Like, actually, I shouldn't say that. Not, not all Sagittarians are like that. For some reason, I've known a lot of Sagittarians in my life, like really close Sagittarians. So, um, yeah. Up to you. You call the shots here. I know, like, that's always the case here, but it really is here. It's like, do you want to listen to this person? Do you not? I, d I can't tell you, like, what would happen either way. 
because I just feel you're just gonna go in the direction that makes you feel like you're I feel you're leaning more towards the casual direction something that isn't too serious here I mean whatever it is that you do and so it's like even if you choose to listen to this person and offer emotional support I don't feel like your energy is it's not that serious for you and I feel like even if you don't, then it's just, it's not that serious. So I, I feel for you, it's not that serious. But I mean, this is all minor arcana and it's all very small, right? Threes, twos, threes, threes, right? And then sevens are like reflection, thinking about things. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and we're going to move on. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's coming towards you. What's going on here? Let's get to the, like, the vibe. Hostilities? Come on, Capricorn. Hey, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what's with Capricorn readings. Ever since I started this channel, I always feel like like I I don't remember all the readings, but I because it because it happens so often that Capricorn readings just seem to be bonkers, and I I don't understand why. Okay, hostilities. Whatever it is that's coming towards you, like look at him. He's like ready to fight. You know, he's ready to defend himself. Um. Whatever is coming towards you is conflicting. You're not going to agree with it. It like you're going to butt heads with it very likely. It's like not something that you might want to deal with. All right, let's see what's going on. It just feels like conflict. But you feel like you have to like you're you feel like you gotta defend yourself or something. I don't know if you have to or not, but let's see what's coming towards Capricorn. So really weird split. <clears throat> I mean, it's all minor arcana. There's a misunderstanding here. Somebody could have, I'm not going to say lie, but they may have stretched the truth here. I feel... They may have stretched the truth about how okay they are about a situation when they're not really okay about it. So like somebody may have said that they were fine with something, but it turns out they weren't actually that fine with it. And I don't think that they were lying. It's just, it, it, it got all twisted and confused, right? This is things getting twisted and confused. And they, it's like they got, they got up in their head and it's like they didn't even know what they were saying or they don't know what they're saying here. Like, what's with the Eight of Swords? Like, They might even felt like manipulated. Like, not that they think that you made them say things, but they, they just got really confused. This is just somebody got, that got really confused. They didn't really understand what was happening. Or they did, but not really, and they didn't ask any questions, they didn't ask for clarification, and so now you end up being in a situation where it's like, well, I thought you were okay with this. And they're like, well, no, I, I, I'm not, I wasn't really. It's like, but you agreed to this. And I was like, well, no, I'm not really, like, I didn't know that's what it was gonna be. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's exactly the conversation. That's just what all this feels like. So somebody's coming at you and being like, you know, it wasn't clear to me and I'm not really happy about the situation. 
And it's like, well, I thought I made it clear to you, but clearly that's not why I keep saying clear. I don't know, but that's not what's happening here. And it, it's all gotten all twisted up here. You know, certain maybe they think that you were manipulating them or that you were like, sh or you think that they were manipul being manipulated. I don't know what's going on here or somebody, not you, but somebody else. It's a mess. Okay, fine. Let me see. How are you seeing this energy? Um, what's going on here? Could have Gemini, air, water as well, but Gemini is coming through there quite strongly. Judgment, Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands in reverse. This could be somebody from the past. Um, uh, I do feel you have a history with this person. Like, you know them well enough. I feel you are judging them, literally judging them <laughs> on the situation here. Um, you feel like this isn't going anywhere um you feel like okay i thought this was going to go somewhere but it's clearly not going anywhere right now and you seem to be on the fence on what you want to do next here you don't even know what you should do next here tell me about judgment yeah <laughs> it's like you thought this person was more mature than they are it's like Man, like, I'm judging you now because you don't seem to have your shit together. I thought you had your shit together, but you definitely don't have your shit together. No, you're a page. I thought you were a queen. I thought you were mature. I thought that you could handle yourself. I thought that you were independent and things like that. But no, you just don't have a fucking clue and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. That is your energy towards them. Obviously, I don't know exactly what you're thinking, but this is energetically what I see. Okay. Um, it just feels kind of fed up to me. <laughs> you feel fed up of this energy. Uh, where is this energy heading in the near future? Where is all this heading? Mm. 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 Oh boy. Oh no. Yeah, this would be the hostilities. Um <laughs> King of Cups in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and then we got the Ten of Wands. Um Ten of Wands, I mean, there's a breaking point here. I feel that this will accumulate. This these wands are going to accumulate here and there we, there's a reaching of a breaking point. I don't know if these are before or after. I mean, the King of Wands here is after and the King of Cups here is before, perhaps, maybe. Um, this King of Cups is somebody who's trying to not deal with their emotions, perhaps. Um, they could be trying to numb their feelings. You could be trying to numb your feelings. Maybe you've been trying to. Um, there's a bit of substance abuse or some sort of like doing something here so you don't have to feel how you feel towards the situation because i do feel like you thought that there was a potential here for something but you might feel like that potential is lost or it's not going to happen for a while here or something along those lines and you could be sort of coping this is coping okay the <laughs> the king of cups here um this could reach a breaking point for you where it's just enough is enough and the king of wands is somebody who's like you know enough is enough i'm kind of pissed off like it's like getting to a breaking point and feeling pissed off it's not going the way that you wanted to go why like and it's like almost like why didn't you listen to me i knew what i was doing here but it didn't go the way that i wanted it to go there is an ego aspect here of well i'm right 
like I said the truth. I don't know what they're talking about here. I was very clear, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on here. The King of Wands is just very frustrated here and thinking that, well, I'm right. I know I'm right because <laughs> I, get, I get a strong sort of, it's about me. It's about me and I know that I was very clear or what I said, I said what I said is what I'm getting. Like, I, I knew, it's like, I know where to take this. Why didn't you just follow my lead? Why? And there's frustration over that here. Um, yeah, so I get there's a sort of maybe avoidance type of energy leading to frustration here for you. Beyond that, I don't really know where it's going. Um, but it's a breaking point here. It's like enough is enough. Ah, this is like enough, enough, enough and is enough with this energy here. Eh, grr. That's what this is. Grr. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Capricorn. Um, could it could possibly be a little bit of a rough week for you if this is resonating? But hopefully, this kind of deters some of that. Okay. Um, because energy is fluid and all of that. So maybe, maybe knowing some of this maybe calms you down a little bit more. Maybe not so grr here. All right. Um, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. So thanks for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and we're going to move on. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's coming towards you. Okay. I mean, this one wants to come out too. Okay, why? Why do you always so much want to come out? Um, indecision, the thinking woman, and goddess of the moon all in reverse. No oh boy. Well, you can't decide on something here. There's You may be at a crossroads here or trying to make a choice about something here that you're having a hard time with um the thinking woman you could have somebody around you who is being kind of selfish um this could be somebody that does not have your best interests here you know she's just thinking about herself here and goddess of the moon what is goddess of the moon <laughs> Goddess of the moon. Blocked intuition. Okay. Your intuition may be somewhat blocked here. Um, or you're just not, you're confused. You don't know what's what. And having a hard time differentiating between, you know, what you're seeing and what is real. Like, it's like kind of that energy where it's like y you want to believe what you see, but it doesn't feel right. You know how sometimes you just have that weird feeling where it just feels off. Something just feels off, but you see it and, and it, it looks like opposite to how you feel. So then you might question how you feel about the situation. It's like when you're not listening to your intuition. It's like, uh, like, cause I feel it has to do with whoever this person is. So this person comes across as very, you know, I care about you and, you know, I'm here for you and, you know, I, I want to, you know, I, I'm very mature and I want to do things for you or I'm very independent. Like they could be saying all these things. Um, they could even be acting this way sometimes, but then you get this feeling that that's not true. You get this feeling that they don't have my best interests that they only care about themselves and it's you you're kind of distressful to them but that's not what's showing up on the surface it can also be the other way around okay because i don't know exactly what the situation is it can be the other way around where you're feeling distrustful towards someone you're being very suspicious towards someone but they're not but it seems like they're acting in a suspicious way but they're not I don't know which way it's going. And that could be what's confusing you. 
because you feel like you have to make a choice or decision here and it's kind of like uh, I'm not really know how, I don't really know how I feel you're getting very confused and mixed up and you're not listening to your intuition you're having a very hard time listening and trusting your instincts this week for some reason um, I just want to check one thing with her the thinking woman It could also be that you're having a difficult time trusting yourself as well. Um, it could be that maybe you feel like you're not growing, that you're not becoming more mature or something in a situation that, um, that maybe you're not paying enough attention to your own needs or not knowing what it is that you need there's it's very confusing this energy so it's very hard for me in a general reading to kind of like go through everything i'm trying my best um so yeah there um there could be somebody around you that's misleading you or it seems like they're misleading you and you're just being distrustful of them here yeah there's a lot okay let's just yeah um, <laughs> let's see what's coming towards you Oi. i don't know um if you have reason to be distrustful or not only you know that only you know the answers here only but it's like you're just having a hard time trusting yourself trusting your instincts you know go with your gut go with what you're feeling with when in doubt go with your gut like shut your brain off and i know aquarius all air signs very difficult but sometimes you just gotta shut your brain off to like tell it to shut up and listen to how you feel like how does the situation make you feel how do you feel do you feel anxious do you feel happy do you feel safe do you feel content like how are you feeling no stop thinking about what's going on because you're gonna drive yourself nuts okay okay so um you have somebody here mm, queen of wands uh three of wands in reverse and the five of pentacles somebody here maybe is waiting or it seems like they're waiting queen of wands um what is that aries energy This Queen of Wands is very hard to read because the Queen of Wands is just hard to read in general. Um, she's pretty good at showing only what she wants to be shown here because I don't see her coming towards you. I see the energy is coming towards you, but I'm very, very doubtful that the person is coming with it. The energy is coming here to be like, it's, it's, Something about this queen is making, is, is giving you pause, basically. Um, something about her is giving you pause. I don't even think you're talking to this person with the five of pentacles. Like, I feel like the physical person isn't around. That's the five of pentacles. So there's a loss here. A loss of material things. A loss of the 3D. So I don't think this person is around um, your energy physically but their energy is here and it's giving you pause it's making things difficult for you to decide what you should do next what should i do next there's a lot of confusion here tell me more about this queen because i can't read her like not just one thing like that she's hiding something not hiding that's not the right word to say but like she she has a certain image about her and it's not exactly what's really going on mm 
okay. Okay, so she's feeling left out. There's fear. Um, this queen is a little, there, she's scared of maybe being left behind or feeling left out here. That is what's underneath. of, you know, FOMO, not being a part of the group here. Underneath, this queen acts very brave. She acts like she's very strong. Um, but underneath, you know, she's, she's not. She has fears here. She, she is afraid. Um, strong Leo energy as well. Strong fire energy, really. Why the three of wands? Oh, there's more fire, um, more Aries. Also you, Aquarius. Okay, it's risky, I see here. So this energy gives you pause because there's something about it that would be a risk. Um, it, w it, it would be a gamble, taking some sort of leap of faith here. I can see that probably because you don't know exactly what's going on underneath the surface of this Queen of Wands. This is, a, this is the best that I can give you, um, what's going on underneath here because she's pretty good queen of wands is pretty good at controlling how people see her you know she wants to be attractive i feel there is an attractive energy about her she is attractive you know she comes off as very confident and attractive but underneath she's scared to be left out she's scared to not feel included but you see well i don't know if you see here but there are delays here because it would be a big risk. Maybe she thinks it would be a big risk as well. Both of you. I guess it's both of you because both the energies are in this fool here. Okay, let me see where you're at here. How do you view this energy? in reverse uh, ten of wands in reverse and the three of pentacles oh my gosh okay sorry um i feel like you try not to think about this energy i, I it's like you you try to ignore it um it's very difficult energy for you to ignore here. It's like you try to distance yourself from this energy, um, trying not to pay any attention to it, trying to reject it. Um, but it's, you know, easier said than done here. Um, you find that there's a lot of weight that you have to carry with this energy. I don't know where that's coming from, but you feel it's very heavy energy for you to carry. I'm getting like responsibilities. There's something here that maybe you feel some sort of responsibility towards with this energy. Um, what's that saying? Heavy is the burden of the something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could look it up or you know what I'm talking about. Um, three of pentacles in reverse. You don't feel like you and this energy are on the same page. You don't feel like you want the same things here. Um, you might also feel like you... It's not that necessarily that like you don't want... Oh, okay. I get like you feel like you can't contribute to this energy. Like, I don't have what you're looking for. I don't... I can't give you sort of, you know... I, uh, because the three of pentacles usually is about, you know, everybody 
does their part. And you might not be willing to do your part here, to do what is expected, almost, to add value to this in the way that maybe you you think that what you should be, sorry, adding. I don't know how to explain that. Um, maybe I can give you an example. Um, so, you know, there's a team of people, right? And each person brings something to the table. Um, there's a deck uh, that actually portrays this really well where, so you have somebody, um, I, uh, it might be the witch's deck. Like, so one person is in charge of the cauldron, you know, in charge of keeping, making sure that, you know, the cauldron gets stirred. Um, another person is in charge of reading the recipe, making sure that the right ingredients are added to the cauldron. And then another person is there, they're in charge of obtaining the ingredients, obtaining the, the things, but each person has their role to play. And when they do it together, then they get the magic of what's in the cauldron. To me, this is reading as you feel like you're not capable of taking up any of those roles for whatever reason. Like, you don't, like, I don't know, you feel like, well, I can't stir the the cauldron here because, I don't know, I, I, I don't have a spoon. I don't have that thing. I can't, you know, tell you what's in the recipe because I can't read the language. You know, I can't tell you, you know, I can't help you with the ingredients because I don't know what these ingredients are. That's what I'm getting from you. It's like, you just feel like I can't help you make this cauldron. I can't help you make the recipe here because I just don't have the ability to. That's what I'm getting from you. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just how your your energy is viewing this here. That could be what is burdening you, um, what you feel a heavy weight on. Maybe you just feel you don't have enough experience to contribute to this energy here. And it's very difficult for maybe even you for you to face that as well. What's with the four cups here. I'm going to tell you, okay, sorry. I'll, I'm going to tell you this first and then I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, what I was going to say. Um, the Empress, uh, this energy is very attracting. She's very attracting the Queen of Wands and that's not what's attracting about this energy. What's attracting you about is the feminine, the divine feminine energy here. You try to ignore this energy. Um, this is either you or them, but it's like there's something here that could grow, something that is very nurturing, something that is very um, loving even. And that is what's hard to ignore. It's hard to ignore that that sort of comforting feeling the like a comfort blanket it's hard to ignore that and that's what makes it very difficult it's like when you have like a really good like comfy blanket and you try to toss it aside but it's like it's still a really comfy blanket and especially when you're really cold that night and it's like i kind of want that blanket i want to feel comforted in it and it's really hard to ignore that that blanket exists you know what I mean? It's something like that. Um, what I was going to say here is I feel like I'm talking a lot because this was a lot here and it seems like this is a lot, but the main energies are all minor arcana, which is telling me that the energy, while there are serious things, like more serious energies beneath it, on the surface, it's very flexible on the surface the energy can change and it can shift very easily depending on what people do depending on what happens so that's what i wanted to tell you okay let's see um speaking of let's see where this is heading in the near future Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, I feel you may, you know, when I was talking about that comfort blanket, I feel you may go towards something that you are very familiar with, something that you're very comfortable within this connection. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's something very tangible here. It is, I mean, I don't say things for no fucking reason. See this? This is somebody who's up at night. This is somebody who's had a nightmare or something, or who can't stop thinking about something, some something that is bothering them mentally. And it's like, well, what do you reach for? You reach for what's comforting. And that's here. So this could be all in your head. It could just be a nightmare here with the Page of Cups. It could be something that is very emotional for you that it's like, I don't know how to deal with these emotions. So you may go back to something that's comfortable to you. Um, a comfort blanket. It can be, you know, this Empress energy here. Uh, I'm not saying that it's exactly like going towards this person, but there's something about the energy that's very comforting um, here that you might resort to when something um, is bothering you. Because something might bother you with the Page of Cups here. Um, it can be this energy over here um, because the Page of Cups, I thought that was interesting because it's reading the same. These are reading as the same as having a difficult time trusting your instincts, trusting your own um, intuition here. So it's like, okay, I, I don't know what to do. I can't like, you know, you're not listening to, I'm not saying that you're not listening to it, but it's like, it's very difficult for you to kind of discern what is, you know, your gut and your feelings versus, you know, what you see, you know, with your eyes and what is your head. Like, it's kind of confusing here. Um, it could be a dream. I really do feel like you're having some sort of nightmare, some sort of dream. You wake up here and you go to what is comfortable to you, what you're used to, that sort of comfort area, that comfort zone. Um, and it's related to this energy and it's related um, to what you're trying to ignore but can't ignore. So I get there's a little bit of giving in here, um, possibly. All right. Anyways, enough of that. That's what I've got for you um, this week, Aquarius. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope things aren't too bad here, um, but we're gonna move on. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on, what's coming towards you. Let's get the, the vibe here. Ooh. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, speaking your truth. This week, you may be feeling more inclined to talk about what you believe in. Um, instead of saying, instead of staying silent, you might want to get something off your chest here or to speak up about something. Very sort of outspoken energy. Okay. Let's see what's coming towards you. Very um, throat chakra energy. Self expression, expressing yourself through speaking, through voice, through communication. It doesn't have to be like it can be like messages and things like that, um, even text messages. Ooh. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Justice in Reverse, Ace of Wands in Reverse, Strong Libra energy here. Uh, I mean, we have the Scales of Justice showing up here. One, it's upright, and one, it's not. Um, there could be an energy that... It's like, eh, it, this could be a bit leading here. 
somebody could have gave you something here, um, offered you something, but they could have offered you more or there's something that's off about it. It's not really like fair. Um, it, it could be like being ripped off, you know, like maybe like, for example, I'm not saying this is exactly what this is, but for example, it's like, you know, you buy something from a store, I don't know, it costs you 50 bucks or whatever. I don't know. You buy a jacket for 50 bucks and, and then you get home and you look at it and you thought at the time that, you know, that was a good deal, 50 bucks. And then you look at it and on closer inspection, like maybe you check prices online and you find that that jacket was going for like 30 bucks or something or you could have got the exact same jacket for like 20 bucks or something like that and maybe you feel a bit ripped off so it can be something like that I'm not saying exactly it's just the feeling right it's like the feeling of i gave money or somebody gave me money and then it's just it wasn't as equal it wasn't a fair trade it felt like it at first but it wasn't here there's a bit of anger with this ace of wands a little bit here um what is this six of pentacles yeah <gasps> it's the devil it was very tempting it tempted you mm -hmm. this is something that tempted you and you thought it was going to be a good deal. No, it was not a good deal here. And I feel you're going to speak up about this. This is something that you're, you're going to want to talk about or, you know, chime in about here. Um, because it's just not fair. What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah, it stopped you from doing something. Um, there was something you were going to do. Like, okay, let's say... Um, for example, we'll go back to the jacket. You got this jacket because maybe you got it for a special occasion. You were going to wear it to a special occasion and maybe there's just something wrong with it or whatever or the material is shit or I don't know what's going on with it, but you can't use it, right? It's unusable and it kind of like, it stopped you from doing something that, you know, you were starting something here, something that you planned that was planned. It's like, I planned to go out, you know, with the jacket. I planned to, you know, show it off or whatever. And now I can't, and it's kind of stopped me. So that that's not fair. That wasn't fair. Something along those lines. Again, it's the feeling. I can't tell you exactly what's going on. I'm not psychic. <laughs> I'm just trying to interpret the energy here for you. Okay. I'm just getting like somebody, like it's just, that feeling of being ripped off, it's like, damn. And it's like, well, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna like post on social media about it. Could be like a company or something, right? Let's see, how are you viewing this energy? The Hierophant. You don't, you, you no longer believe in this energy. I, th oh, I mean, okay, so we have the Hierophant, Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. I feel like you were, I don't know about loyal, you had some sort of commitment, and it's like, I'm not committed to this anymore. Like, if you had some sort of membership, um, or some sort of loyalty, um, it can be in any form. Um, where this was something that was a part of your life, something that you were doing for a while or something that you believed in for a while. I get like, that's not really the case anymore. If this was something like, it's like something that was consistent, right? Or traditional, something that you did all the time, like, um, like routinely, you don't do it anymore because of this. This is like broken that it can be broken trust. Here, it's like, yeah, I, I mean, I can't, I can't do, I can't do that anymore here. Um, you're almost happy that this happened. I feel it probably because you get to see, you know, what's actually going on. So I get with the four of wands, there is a certain amount of, you know, I'm kind of happy that I got ripped off because now I can see, right? Um, this is a breaking point with the 10 of wands here. This is, I've had enough. Um, here 
<laughs> I mean, the Ten of Wands does um, reset to an Ace, but it's going backwards here. So I do feel whatever this stopped you from doing, that was like the last straw. Like literally, that was my last straw. That's why I'm getting all of this. I'm no longer loyal to this. Um, if it was like a relationship, it's like, we're done broken up done i'm glad this happened because i don't want to be in this anymore because it's too much to deal with and that was the last straw for me and i'm going to talk about it and i'm going to speak about it i'm going to be very vocal about it Ooh, oof yeah i mean these are very strong energies that devil it's like now i see now i see the trickery here now i see the devil and I, it's like i i see you know what you were trying to do whatever this energy is who whoever whatever it is it's like you were trying to rip me off you were trying to get something from me you did get it from me but you're not getting any more enough of this okay um let's see uh where's this heading in the near future for you where's this energy heading in the near future for you Oh, look at that. Look at the glow up there. Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna shut up about this. No, oh, not anytime soon. Uh yeah. No, I, I get here, like this is all very positive, I feel. You know, with the Three of Cups, I feel like you're gonna share your experience here with others. I think that you've grown from this. You've learned, live and learn. The Queen of Pentacles, she has the experience to back up her maturity. There's a bit of a, gr a glow up here. You're very independent now. You're free from this energy as well. Um, you're taking care of yourself here. You're being more, you know, I know what's best for me. But also the Queen of Pentacles, she does take care of those around. And I feel like you're maybe you're speaking up about this because you don't want this to happen to somebody else. I get sharing your experience with others, probably with your friends and your family. Um, but you might expand on that. I don't know. But at least here in the near future, it's mostly just sharing with your friends and your family, you know, trying, you know, being very mature about it. You're not doing it to spread gossip or anything. It's more in a, I don't want this to happen to you kind of way it's a very supportive energy here and i get with the four of swords oh yeah i get a bit that it's something that kind of stays sticks to you for a little bit here you're not going to easily forget about this this is something that is going to kind of sit in the back of your mind for a little bit here um uh in the foreseeable future so uh, which is uh, still you know talking about it now beyond that i don't know <laughs> I'm not looking beyond that. I don't know if people around you get sick of hearing it from you. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but, or maybe something else happens. Maybe it's a good thing. Um, but I see mostly positive energy here. <coughs> okay. Sorry. Speaking of throat chakra. Oh, my throat's all dry. <coughs> I'm dying. Okay. Anyways. That's it. That's what I have for you here, Pisces. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And that's it. That's where I'm going to end things for today. So thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching and for hanging out here and um, for listening <laughs> to me and the readings. I hope that you found something insightful or just entertaining here. Um, Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciate everybody who watches and comments and does all those things. So thank you very much. Um, but I'm gonna leave you here with this today. So again, thank you. I hope that you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Good luck. Be well. Take care. And I will talk to you later. Okay. <laughs>